Hey everybody, how is it going? Sherry here, aka Diamond Art Addiction. Um, I'm going to start this off with, you may hear me speaking a little bit quieter in this video. As you can see, the setup is a little bit different. I'm actually filming this in the evening. Well, late at night to be honest. Not too, too late, but later. My sons, you know, are gone to bed to get ready for school. Husband's in bed, so it's just me up. We're actually in my little crafting area. And you're getting kind of a glimpse of my evening routine. I actually have my spa music in the background. My favorite candle burning in the background. This is my evening routine. Usually I'm diamond painting, not filming. And uh, this is a lemongrass and sage. And then I have my steep tea, which I drink usually every evening. It's steeping right now. And for this video, I am bringing you guys another unboxing. First impressions, slash, but not Diamond Art Club. <clears throat> so before I continue, just let me... I need a sip of my tea. So, <clears throat> I take this out. This here, if you are a diamond painter, you know, an avid diamond painter, then everybody has heard of AliExpress. And AliExpress sells a multitude of different things at a very, very discounted price. You know, well, I don't need to go into details about AliExpress. And most avid diamond painters also have heard of Home Fun right here. This is the name of the store on AliExpress. And I've heard mixed reviews. This is not my first time opening a home fun diamond painting. I had ordered, ordered one from them before, but uh, I didn't like the quality of the canvas. Excuse me a second, guys. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I didn't like the quality of the canvas, you know, I might have just gotten a bad painting, bad batch, who knows. So between all the mixed reviews, I decided to order another painting from them to give it a shot. And I'm actually, I'm going to complete this project. Like I'm, whether I like it or not, whether I like the quality, etc., etc. I'm going to complete this project. So when I'm done, I can actually give an honest review. And that's something that you will find on my channel. My opinions are always my own, honest. I know you've probably heard this before, but if you follow me on Instagram, <clears throat> then, oh, ooh, my sorry guys, my throat is really dry. If you follow me on Instagram, you're gonna see I'm honest, I speak, I voice my opinion with kindness and respect, always first and foremost. I truly believe Kindness and respect gets you a lot further than disrespect and rudeness. <laughs> so the other opening I'm going to show you guys after I'm done with home fun here is my favorite diamond pen company. I blacked out addresses, but it comes from a company called Diamond Pens. If I can get that to focus there. But Diamond Pens with a Z at the end. I actually found that they found me on Facebook or we found each other, however it works, right? We found each other. So I will open this when I am done with Mr. Home Fun over here. So I'm gonna move my candle out of the way. Really don't need to be starting any fires here. No, I don't think the husband would be too happy to wake up to a home fire. So this is actually my kitchen table. This is where I do my crafting. I unfortunately don't have a craft space. I'm, you know, maybe one day eventually down the road, I'll do a home tour. All right, first, I'm not taking this out of the packaging. I'm sidetracking here, home tours and stuff. Chase, stay on track, Sherry. <laughs> so I didn't take, I decided to just untake it out of the packaging, like the packaging that it came in. This is how it came in except it had like, you know, it's shipping packaging with tape all over it. The packaging was eh, for 
it, it was a little damaged, as you can see by the box here. Like you can see there was some damaging and it's a little crinkled and crunched, but hey, that doesn't mean nothing. So you guys are gonna have to excuse me here for a second while I take things out of the box. I don't need that right now. So let's first talk about our toolkit, all right? This here is your stereotypical toolkit. <clears throat> it comes with your pen. This one is a pink one. It has your three placer. So you got your three placer on this side and then you got your one placer on this side. I'm trying to, sorry guys, to one placer. This can pop out right here. If you wanna put a six placer, nine placer, whatever floats your boat. Speaking of boats, we have a, this one comes with a white boat here. White boat with a little funnel. Typical, normal diamond tool. And you get a pair of metal tweezers. Spoke about the pen. You get two bags, two whole whopping bags. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> but not that that matters because as you'll see in my uh, soon to come kidding up video, wax, stereotypical wax. <laughs> my, my next, one of my next videos is going to be, upcoming videos is going to be a kidding up. So you'll get to see that. So this is how it came. Sorry about the crinkling. If you don't like crinkling, then I'm very, very sorry. Turn down your volume. I don't know what else to say. So this is how it came wrapped up. So yay, they gave us extra packaging, positive. I love positive. Extra packaging around your painting. Set those aside for right now. So let's talk a little bit about our canvas. So it came in a foam tube right here. I better maybe lower my voice a bit so my husband doesn't come down going, what are you doing? Well, he knows what I'm doing. Elastic bands. Yay. <laughs> okay, we got that off. Sip of steep tea. I'm gonna have a mess all over my little area here. That's okay. Okay. So I'm just gonna unroll this. So this painting here, I ordered on March 20. Oh, I might've hit my tripod. I gotta put this down. So I ordered this on March 29th. I received it today, May 1st. So that's not too bad, you guys. Like, no, fully knowing that, you know, most of AliExpress comes from China and it's gotta come over on a boat. So it's gonna take a little bit to get here. This painting is a, I believe a 40 by 60 is what I ordered. You know, my son would probably love this. He likes to play, okay, Sherry. He likes to do Star Wars, sidetracking. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and get this fully in here, you guys. It's really not wanting to unwrap. Wow. I'm not used to this. This might take me a couple minutes here. Holy Hanna-Barbara. So yeah, this is a 40 by 60. Oh, I might want to move my tea or I'm going to have another disaster happening over here. We just don't need that. So I'm going to show you guys a trick. If you ever come across a painting like this, like if you don't already know this, if you're a diamond painter, then you know this. If you're maybe new, oh, do you guys see this? Like, do you see this here? I really hope like, all this here, I really hope that this doesn't affect the painting. And then I noticed this. Like, usually this isn't like, oh. Okay, anyway, moving on. I'll show you guys that in a minute. I just realized why that was like that. So, if you take this and you go like this. Oh. You go like this and then lay it back down 
and then take this and this is where I'm going to show you guys what I just noticed. Oh, uh, right. so we're going to continue on um, right here. All oh, this, this adhesive, the adhesive has come up, you guys, like right in this corner right here, the adhesive has come up. It's definitely got some bubbling and crinkling in the canvas. I'm sure there's a way to fix this. There is a way to fix this. I know there is. I've seen it, but like right in the corner here, the adhesive has lifted and where the drill grid is, it's like nothing. There's no sticky, none whatsoever. So that might be a bit of a problem, <clears throat> but where, the, where there's a will, there's a way. There's always a solution. So I'm gonna try and lay this out. Oh, I was hoping this wasn't gonna take me. I don't wanna do a, oh, wow. Like, the adhesive is sticky. I will give it that. I will insert a picture right before I do my inventory count of what this painting is supposed to look like. I really hope that this is not a stolen image. I made a post about that on my Instagram today, you guys. And I'm really learning as I'm going in my diamond painting journey that, <clears throat> you know, stealing artists, oh wow, this does not want to come up. Let's see if I can get you guys in there. Oh wow, okay, that wanted, the, the adhesive, you guys, literally wants to lift off the canvas. Like this isn't what I had last time when I ordered from Home Fun. It was way different. I just didn't like the way the drill grid looked. So this is, okay, I'm not gonna pass judgment. Not until I'm done. I'm <clears throat> actually, I'm going to complete this entire painting and then I'm gonna give a full review. So we're gonna go from that. I will work on this painting. I will get it finished. It may take me some time and I will, you know, do updates and maybe do a live stream or, go live on Instagram and work on it. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to use washi tape or cut off that excess adhesive. Oh. So you can see I'm actually able to lay this out flat now, now that I've lifted these up. And I'm probably gonna take this completely off. I'll try and show you guys a full grill grid. Or Drill, yeah, drill grid. Sorry, you guys, it's a little late. I'm not used to filming at night right now. I'm just seeing if this works for me and works for you guys. Oh, I just need a sip of tea. So yes. You know, I actually wrote down notes to try and keep myself on track and not get sidetracked. But I'm noticing that I'm getting sidetracked and I think that's just because I'm a little bit, okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna work on this until, I know, like I said, I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard a lot of good. I've heard a lot of bad. I wanted to get another painting to, to do another judgment, to see, right? Because I can't always be Diamond Art Club, Diamond Art Club, even though I'm a Diamond Art Club addict. Hi, my name is Sherry and I'm a Diamond Art Club addict. <laughs> so here is what the picture is supposed to look like. If you can see that, and oh, I'm sorry, you guys, I jumped subjects. Stolen imagery. If, I don't know if this painting is stolen, I will show and put it, pop up another picture. I sure hope this image isn't stolen. I sure hope that, you know, if it is, please comment down below and I will never, ever order from Home Fun again. Even if I absolutely fall in love with this. I will not order from them again because, or maybe they're not aware that it's stolen, but I do not agree with stores or whatever stealing artists' images and selling it for profit. When you know, like I have done gone, done my homework. I can't put my, slam my hand down. I get very passionate about this. I've, I've done my homework and I know for a fact that there are stores on AliExpress that are selling stolen images. You know, I heard from, you know, like Mrs. Coffee has said, and I've heard other people say, uh, you know, I'll give credit where credit is due. I'll give benefit of the doubt. Maybe they, they're not aware. 
you know, I don't pass judgment on people if you've bought in a painting that is possibly a stolen image. You know, you don't know. You don't know. Like, this could be stolen image too, and I'm not aware of it, right? I really hope it isn't, but if it is, done. So, moving on. Here is, you only get your key on one side of the painting, like your legend. You only get it here. I do have an inventory sheet, which I'll show you in a minute. And this one here is, it's got letters, symbols, and numbers. Oh, and the eights and the Bs are like, I gotta try and get the angle on this here, you guys. I'm still new at this, have patience. I will get better, I promise. But yeah, like right here, you got eight, Eight and B are pretty much the similar colors. And eight and B look the same. Again, I'm not gonna give my review until I'm done the painting. So, you know what? Let's take a, let's take a look at the drill grit. I'm gonna take off half and see how it looks. Oh, I'm dropping stuff everywhere here. Don't. Put the paper near the fire, Sherry. Uh oh, that wasn't a good, that was not a good idea. I shouldn't have done that. So it's sticky, like very sticky, but it's very bubbly. I see where I'm definitely gonna need to take a razor and go through. It's dark. It's very, very dark. Like the drill grid is very dark. This is definitely gonna be a light pad moment. I'm definitely, so I don't mix up the eights and the bees and so on and so forth. Like, yeah, workable. This is workable. I can work with this. It looks like the image is close to what the painting is supposed to be. As long as the drills coincide. Oh, I'll fix that later. I'll just move that for now. Okay, moving on. I'm back. Hi. <laughs> So here are the drills that were actually used to cover the painting. So I like that. They were very considerate and understanding that paintings can get damaged in shipping. Okay, you guys, there's going to be some crinkling. So if you don't like this, just turn your volume down for a minute. So here is my... Here's my inventory sheet. Oh, if I can get this is really crinkled up. Okay, let's see. So there's what the painting is supposed to be. Absolutely cute. Angelina Rona is one of my favorite artists. Another one of my favorite artists. I'm starting to get a lot of favorite artists right now. But I love Angelina Rona work. Absolutely love Angelina Rona work. And this is this reminded me of Angelina Rona. And I'm really hoping it's not one of hers. I went and I looked and I didn't see it. And if I'm wrong, I am so sorry, but I'm hoping. So this is a round. I went with round for this one. I haven't done a square project yet, so don't judge. I haven't done square yet. Just don't judge me. I'm getting there. <laughs> I've only been doing this for a few months. I'm just learning. So I'm just gonna, there. It's like ripping the Band-Aid off. Just get it over with, right? Because I'm actually going to film, well not film, I'm gonna do an inventory count, but you guys are gonna see it in time-lapse. So what will be probably 30 seconds for you is going to be probably 15 minutes for me. So yeah, like, here is old, good old, oh. Hey, not bad. This is 939, which is supposed to be a navy blue. It looks navy blue. They don't look like they're bad quality. Like you can see 939, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and 939. I'm supposed to have 35 packs. Unless it's like 35 of these, a 35 of those, but I'll go through, I will look, yeah, because 
Okay. It shows you here, like on your inventory sheet, when usually when you get one of these paintings from AliExpress, from what I've seen, I don't have very many yet. I've kind of just been Diamond Art Club and Diamond Dots. That's kind of been my thing for the last three months and I'm just branching out to AliExpress right now. So from what I've seen, this is normal. This is normal and yeah. So I'm gonna roll with this. We're gonna go from there. I will do an inventory count and I will come back and we'll go from there so we can get on and this isn't a two hour video. <laughs> And I'm back. <laughs> so I am all inventory counted up. Everything is here. Um, I just wanna make a couple points before I move into the, this is what I'm so excited about. I'm very excited about this, but we'll get into that in a minute. Whoa, squirrel. So <laughs> I down here, I kind of scribbled because I actually thought, I looked down here and I seen 39 colors, right? You gotta forgive me, it's late. It's late. I'm not used to filming at night, I'm used to diamond painting right now, so <laughs> bear with me. So I hear I thought I had all these extra diamonds sent to me. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah, and then all of a sudden I looked over here and I'm like, Murphy, you have 43 colors, not 39. So, whoops, minor lapse in stuff there. So the, the, the drills look good. So I wanna make a point to you because earlier I had stated that 35 bags until I started going, wow, you really maybe shouldn't be doing this at night because, so in on your sheets here, you get your sheet and you'll see your DMC code. They call it EMC, I call it DM, it's DMC. And then it'll show you here how many actual diamonds you need for your painting. And then over here, you got packs, right? So I left some packs out because I wanted to make a point. There are some, one set of drills that I'm very nervous about. And I'll get into that in like two seconds here. Just forgive me. So, so you see these little ones here. Each one of these bags is 200 drills. So two, four, six, eight, ten, right? That is a thousand of... 38.39. So for this painting, it says that I need 900 drills. They gave me an extra 100 of drills, which is perfect because you sometimes get pitting and issues with drills. We, if you're a painter, you know the issues. If not, you soon will. Okay, so that was great. 38.39, I have an extra 100. Then we get over to 37.52. So again, there is 200 per bag. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two hundred drills. Twenty-two hundred. It says here I need twenty-one ninety-nine. So I had the right amount of bags, but I better hope that there is only one issue with this color. Like only one drill can be funky and that's it otherwise I could be I'm hoping maybe there's in packaging they might have put extra in I don't know if I have this shade in any other painting okay now we're gonna move on to 939 this is the one that I said 35 bags and I only have seven well stupid me <laughs> brain lapse again so each one of these bags holds I believe think again I, I did I just did the math so for 939 right here I am supposed to it takes 6930 drills to do this painting great okay so that means there should be a thousand drills one two three four five six seven there is a thousand drills per bag so that is like five of the little bags so you go 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 35 bags right perfect so I need, I've got room for 70 funky drills that I can't use. 
I can work with that. I have lots of extra 939s. They just might not be the same quality. Perfect. Moving on as I go and I do my review, because I am going to finish this painting. When I do my review of this painting and home fun is when I will give my final verdict on the drills. Moving on. Let's get into this. So this here, I have a diamond painting group on Facebook. I've mentioned that before. And this company here is where I got these two, these two pens. Uh, these are the only kind of pens I use right now. I actually have a, a pen coming from Donnie down in the States. A lot of you are familiar with her. I will link her channel below. She has some amazing pens and a great channel as well. So like I said, or not link, I will, yeah, link. I can link her channel below. I will link her channel below. I'm slowly learning how to do this stuff. So you gotta pardon me. So this company is based in Canada. Um, I will link their Facebook group below if you're interested in these pens. So I ordered this, this pen was done. Oh man, I can't think right now. It was shipped out on April 23rd. It was shipped April 23rd. I received it today. They offer two forms of shipping. You have tracked and untracked. Tracked, you get a lot faster. Takes two days because they're like two provinces over. So it's like lickety split done. This one, I decided to go untracked just to see the difference. And it was like seven business days. Like, it depends, right? So if you want to know their, you know anything about that, you can go check out their group. I paid $25 Canadian for this pen. Yes, you heard me right. $25 Canadian. If you are American, that will be cheaper. I have seen some of these pens going for anywhere from $35 up to $50 a pen. These to me are very high quality. I am going to order another pen from another Etsy shop because I just want to see the difference. I will forever remain loyal to these guys. They are the first company I ordered from. They're Canadian and they are just great family-based business. Like, awesome. Absolutely, 100%. I believe in supporting. Aw, little thank you sticker on the back. And this is my new acrylic diamond painting pen. This one is called, As oh, it's called asparagus. Oh, that is gorgeous. This just makes me want to break out my diamond painting if it wasn't like midnight, one in the morning, whatever time it is. And with their pens, you can actually choose what you want for placers. Like if you want a one placer, a three placer, six placer, you know, the different placers. They do do custom orders and I have a custom order on the way soon. So I will show you guys that it is stunning. So yes, this is my pen. I am pumped. Again, I will link their group. Thank you so much. If you made it this far, I did not intend this video to be this long. It was just, I kind of really went on about, I was just kind of think in shock with the painting and the different quality. So I would really love it and appreciate it if you would if you like this video and you like this content then you know hit that subscribe button you know hit that notification bell because I will be uploading quite frequently you know so you know when I upload a new video and if you like this smash that like button and then that way I know that you guys enjoy this content please feel free if you have a comment leave it down below in the description box if you'd like to see a certain kind of video please i'm a new creator feel free to give me some ideas down below so good morning good night wherever you are i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next video mm -hmm.